Things that glow in the dark. What am I holding? Break this. Break Ready? it. Shake, shake it up. You know those little oh, light sticks. You've seen that. them before, haven't you? Look yeah. at that. Oh, yeah. So, These are so cool. At Halloween, they're all over the place. Very cool chemistry here. It's called chemiluminescence. It's a chemical reaction that produces light. But I wanted to bring you something a little bit different. So as the lights come up, I'll, I'll show you part of a ceremony. Believe it or not, um, in China, instead of doing a unity candle, they'll take the two liquids that are here and mix them together and, and start them to glow to talk about the eternal glow. Oh, well, we're getting sappy. But I got to show you how this works. Look at this. So I busted one of these open. Don't do this at home. Don't bust it open. But I busted one open. There's two chemicals that are inside. One that's in this part of the light stick and then this one that's in the glass oh, ampule. Okay. When you break those two and mix them together, you get they chemical luminescence. And you get right. this. So watch this. We did the same thing here. I have the same two liquids from the oh, lab. Okay. So I'm going to give you these two here oh, okay. and we're going to dim the lights and you stay right there and pour those back and forth and kind of see what the reaction okay. looks like. So watch. Pour them back and forth. That's great. And then kick it into the other one. Oh, look at this. It can go oh, slow. It can go oh, slow. Oh, there slower. it is. Oh. Yeah. Oh, look, look at that. At that. Very purple. Aren't those beautiful? Those are. So this is this chemiluminescence that we were talking about before that in that chemical cool. reaction. Now, uh, if you follow me over here, look at the apparatus that we have set up, which is kind of cool. If you think about it, this is glowing and it's glowing uh, without giving off any heat. Right? right? So that's kind of a cool that's thing. Good. We're going to talk about bioluminescence. Yep. So here's the setup. Look at this. It's a column with this glass that's spun on the inside here, oh, that spiral. Cool. So now as you dim the lights, so go ahead and dim the lights and we'll watch it kind of go down. Watch this. As it pops down there, you just get the coolest <laughs> chemiluminescence. Look at that. Very cool. Isn't that I've really, really fun? I've had this test at the hospital, by the way. You have had this test at the hospital. <laughs> and so I just kind of sneak it in here with a little bit of this going in. Oh, and that's how looking cool good. Is that? Isn't that fun? That is very but cool. But I found this amazing toy. Oh, I got to sneak in some of this as well. I found this amazing <laughs> toy at a thing called Toy Fair, and uh, the toy oh, at Toy in Fair. Oh, New York, right? At yes. The, uh, what, at the it's Javits, called, I think? And it's, yes, it's a Javits. Right. It's bioluminescence, and so i got to show you what this looks like. So bring our lights back up again, because I know you're excited. We'll do that at the very end. See the little dinosaur that's here? Right. There's actually uh, seawater in here with marine plankton. It's oh, made by a company out. called Biopop, and uh, and when these, there's a circadian rhythm with these, and they'll yeah. glow at, at night. So they have to have sun during the day for photosynthesis, but but then at night. Now, right now, they're not happy because they're in there. They're off oh, their cycle. Right, yes. But I have some video for you to take a look at. Take a look at this. This is what it looks like when you twist. Oh, <gasps> when you see what happens six. when you twist them back and forth. Look now, at that. marine biologists say that this happens in nature, and you can kind of see what happens with water. This happens in nature, they think, because these marine plankton dinoflagellates uh, will actually glow, glow to illuminate other predators. So maybe they won't get eaten, and something else will get eaten. But oh, this is a four, thing called dino six. pet, which I think is the coolest little toy. Oh, my little guys share love them. With the kids. Phenomenal. Isn't that great? And I put all that information on my Facebook page. So facebook.com slash Steve Spangler. Okay. All that information. This all is right. reserved for a chemistry teacher. You tell them whatever you have to tell them. Turn off the lights. I'm going to play again. All right. There, so keep on going. Fa fa Facebook, SpanglerScience.com yeah. if you're uh, interested and I'm sure you are. And it's one of those things that your kids and your grandkids will love. Thank you, science guy.